Hi guys, this is going to be a quick repair video, hopefully at least. Uh, this mouse has a problem with the cable. Most of the times when an optical mouse fails it's because the cable uh, breaks exactly at this point. And you can, uh, <coughs> sorry, you can check that by uh, moving the cable and if the uh, light comes on in a certain position then here is your problem. This is exactly what this mouse is doing. When you move the cable it lights up, if you move it a little bit the other way it uh, shuts down. So yeah, that's that. I have to tear it down and uh, cut the cable and resolder it uh, onto the board. This uh, it's a 2.1 audio system. This is just the subwoofer. Uh, has a problem with the power button. It doesn't stay locked anymore. So uh, yeah, if uh, it's some kind of power button that I um, cannot replace or I don't have a similar one, I will just put uh, this simple uh, switch on the power cable. Because uh, it's not a problem if it's not uh, at the front of this subwoofer, because anyway, uh, lots and lots of subwoofers have a power button on the back side. So if this will be here, absolutely no problem. And uh, anyway, this uh, will be used with a PC that is uh, connected to. One moment. To something like this so uh, every time the PC is not in use you cut the power to everything so you don't actually have to cut the power just uh, to the subwoofer but yeah I will put this on the cable just so you have that option at least so yeah let's start uh, tearing down the, down the mouse first and then the subwoofer open the mouse up the wire had this uh, plastic uh, thing on it. It uh, is pretty tight on the wire, so it uh, actually prevents you from uh, pulling out the wire uh, too tight from from this mouse. So, so you actually stretch this. Uh, I will put just a tiny bit of glue on it after I find the exact position on this uh, wire so I'm positive that, that it cannot move anymore and uh, inspecting this I found uh, the blue one was broken you can see it bends in a very weird way it bends at uh, almost 180 degrees without any issues, the other ones don't do this, not even the, the orange one. So yeah, the blue one was the problem. Uh, I did not cut this uh, directly from the board because I want to see each one of them in what which of the holes uh, they go in. I will uh, uh, take the protection off. Uh, put some solder on the tips of the wires after that and uh, remove them one by one and solder the other the new good one in place so I'm sure all of them will be in the correct position and correct order so yeah that's about it the new wires are uh, soldered in place for this particular mouse I could have removed them from the beginning because as you can see they are uh, marked on the board. The first letter from each of the colors. So yeah, you can't really get this wrong this time. So let's start putting uh, this back together. Almost finished. I will just have to put the top part back on and a single screw at uh, the bottom of the mouse. Uh, some uh, mice, not really sure about the plural, 
have two screws under these uh, anti-friction uh, tiny pads. So yeah, be careful about those. And this is about it. This is the main thing that can go wrong with the mouse, the cable breaking at the entry in the mouse. Or sometimes uh, at this end, but this is... Yeah, I didn't uh, have this situation until now, because uh, usually you do not move your mouse so much at this end, you move it uh, here, so this part moves a lot, not this one. But yeah, wires do break even here sometimes. So let's put this uh, back together and uh, continue with the subwoofer. The mouse is finished, so I can start using it. And uh, I, I'm thinking this will be a very, very complicated uh, teardown. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Yeah. And that's about it. This was uh, just uh, hot glued in place instead of having uh, uh, screws as, as it should. It was just uh, hot glued. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to glue this way better than what they did. But I'm still not going to use any screws on it because, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. But I will at least do a better job than they did when they first put it together. So yeah, let's uh, take this apart. Okay guys, this is plugged in. And I was preparing to try and push the button and see if it actually works because it seems in working order. Maybe it doesn't make good contact or something. And then something hit me. What if they actually cut uh, uh, 230 volts with this? 99% of uh, the times uh, uh, in this kind of speakers, they actually just cut uh, the secondary, the low voltage, and the primary is always connected. But this time I was lucky, I thought that they could have done it another way, because, be careful for uh, some loud noises. Yeah. We have uh, 230 volts here. So... Yeah, I don't really like that at all. On the same board with the volume and everything, they put uh, uh, 230 volts in the front panel where it is actually not necessary. But yeah, this is how they did it. And uh, yeah, I have to be careful. <laughs> from now on and don't assume anything. Luckily I didn't assume even this time, but I was pretty close to electrocuting myself, if, if you can uh, say that. So yeah. Uh, hooray for being lucky at this point. I will unplug it and uh, yeah, try to test it with a, a multimeter and see if it doesn't do good contact or something because I don't want to play around with it at uh, 220 volts. Okay guys, it seems that uh, this has to stay really pushed so it will work. I don't want to play around with it and try to fix it because you never know when it will break again. So I will just solder on the back so it will be always uh, on. And of course uh, use this on the wire, and that's way easier, and I'm sure of uh, what happens. I took out uh, even the back, so you can see what's happening here. Pretty decent, a really small speaker, I really like it. Um, can we focus on it? Okay, it seems it's 4 ohms 8 watts, 
not extremely powerful, but uh, yeah, rubber membrane, pretty decent magnet. Of course, it is shielded, and uh, the output for the two satellites. So yeah, let's uh, do this. I have replaced the original foam uh, ceiling around uh, this back uh, part because it was old and uh, squished so it wasn't doing its job anymore and it's uh, very important in, in my opinion uh, not to let the uh, the box uh, breed to any other holes apart from the ones uh, in the design. So it has to be sealed even if it's uh, base reflex one. If it uh, air escapes to, through cracks or something like that, you get uh, weird hissing noises and uh, lowering of quality. So I will also put something around this, so no air will get in this part, and uh, the air will just travel to to the uh, base reflex pipe. You can see the huge solder uh, blob there. So this switch uh, isn't doing a thing anymore; it's directly connected. And yeah, let's uh, start closing it up, and then put the new switch on the wire. Okay guys, most finished as you know, uh, speakers finished, here we have the switch and I've connected the satellites and uh, yeah, let's do a quick test. Of course I had to take out the case from my phone, I'm still with the Zero Lemon battery. Because uh, this is a pretty big plug and it doesn't fit the hole in the case. Yeah, so what can you do? You can find the link to this song uh, in the description of the video if you want. this button in place so nobody will push it and then don't understand why the speakers are not uh, turning off so you cannot push this anymore and uh, yeah that's about it everything working so job done Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.